What's up, guys? Welcome back to Levercast Live, episode two of the live podcast we host in my Discord. Today, we're interviewing Matutu. Many of you know him as Matutu's Kasusu. He owns the most famous casino in all of Minecraft. He's been with me for the last three years. I picked him up off of the road like a piece of roadkill. I nurtured him. I let him I let him live with me. This isn't true at all. And now he's grown up into the man he is today. Matt? Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Awesome. Good. How are, uh, we're, we're doing well. We're doing well. So there's a couple people listening today, Matt, live. We got about, uh, oh, I don't know, looks like maybe 50, 70, 100 people in here. Uh, are you nervous exactly. at all? Do you feel uncomfortable? Uh, maybe maybe just a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm mostly nervous for your questions because you never told me <laughs> Oh, you're going to like them. Guys, I've written down 12 bangers of questions for Matt today. And if you'd like to ask a question <laughs> live, go to the Talk to Lover channel, ask a question there. And Morocco, the other best admin in the world, besides all my other best admins, will help moderate those questions. Now, Matt, let's start this thing off. How old are you? I am 17. But your voice Going makes strong. you sound like you're about nine, correct? Yeah. Tell us uh, about that. I've, I've, seen, um, I've seen many comments on your, on your videos about such things. Um, you, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I just take it, take it as it goes. Um, Does it bother people you? People say I haven't. You know, I mean, at, at one point it did because I've always had a high voice. Yeah. Um, but at this point, I, I really don't care as as long as they're not like extremely derogatory. Sure. I mean, there's a lot of benefits too. If you're in like a band, you could see all the trouble lines that like people like yeah, me couldn't go. do. I would hit the bass. You'd be, you know, up top. Um, Get the soprano, dude. Yeah. The, the soprano. Yeah. You could, you could nail that. And other benefits include, um, that's about it. So. Okay, great. <laughs> great to hear it, dude. Thanks. Uh, next question. Um, so you've worked with me every day for the last couple of years, pretty much. He helped me moderate this Discord when it was only 2,000 people. What has that I journey been like, going from literally zero activity in this Discord to where it is today? I'm honestly incredibly proud. I feel like a proud dad, to be fair. Um, I, I feel like, like I, I don't know, like I, I, I was really good and like something something just happened and you exploded and i just i just have fun now it's great like i i love the community i love everything about this um i i spend most of my most of my hours of my day apart from schoolwork um doing this because it's, it's just it's just great i don't, I don't know what else to say <laughs> and do you feel like now our relationship's different because back then i was like a failed youtuber now that i've had more success <laughs> are you like you're like whoa I'm talking to like a YouTube star here almost. Like this guy's getting there. Like, do you feel nervous? You're like, oh my gosh, I'm scared. I no. The answer is yes. Next question. Um, <laughs> is it hard working with me? Um, I, I'd probably say s most of the time no. Some of the times a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting a very big yes right there. Um, most of the time it's it's really fun working with you for, for the sole reason that you have very ideas and um not nothing's no no one day is the same i i'd say um but uh, or the the times when you aren't as fun to work with is um usually uh about um i don't know like statistics and stuff <laughs> oh uh, yeah, yeah. Your youtube channel <laughs> okay i could see that most people don't realize how serious i take the business and the statistics of my channel they see like the 10 minutes on camera. They don't see like the six hours of work that goes into building it up. And so when people yeah. find out I spend hours each day studying what works, what doesn't work and fixing it, they're like, whoa, that's crazy. I didn't know you put this in. So like if a video does bad, like I'll be upset for like a couple hours. I'm like, I, I messed up, I'm mad. Yeah, definitely true. Yeah, if I, if, I, if I had anything to say about YouTube, you guys do not know anything about how long it takes to do YouTube videos and how much how much of a grueling activity it is to do. <laughs> Especially Insane. some of the ones that you've made with me, dude. Some of our oh house slips gosh. we'll do or building a base. You've missed some of the long ones, but like some videos, it's like a 10 minute video. We there is a reason I missed some of the long ones. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> we will literally bring in 10 people and it'll take us all 10 of us three hours straight working. Like it is absurd for a 10 minute video and half. I made one video. Matt was a part of this one. 300, 100 ways to hide your chest, dude. Oh my goodness, dude! That that oh my, Jesus. that's going down in history, folks. Yeah, I was, swear. Uh, the video flopped, but um, I I'd say that was the most grueling one we've ever done. 
I probably personally put in maybe 100 hours into that video over the course of a month, along with many other people that helped. And that video came out and I was so unbelievably hyped. I was like, this is it. I, I actually told my friends, I was like, this is gonna be my first 25 million view video. I was that confident. I put in that much effort and I was going on vacation. I was like celebrating ahead of time. And in the car, I look at my phone and the views start rolling in and it's ranked like number like 50 out of 50 in my last 50 videos. And I was like, this must be a glitch. And I check it the next day and it's still 50 out of 50. And I was like, no freaking way. And it never picked up. I will never forget I that mean, day. It was, it was well paced too and stuff. Like I, I, what I've learned from, uh, from my, my time with you is uh, whenever you think a video is going to do well and when you, when you have <laughs> yeah. a video, it never does well. That is um, the most true thing ever. If I think the video is like average, it's going to do well. Like today's video, I was like, mm, that was a good video. And it's ranked very high. Like always. Yeah. That's so funny. I don't know, dude. YouTube is weird. YouTube is weird. Matutu has been your name for years. What inspired that name? Um, so, okay. It, it's been in my name for three years. Okay. Like when I first met you, it was kind of a coinky dink. Before that, um, it was, uh, it was Cantory, which, um, Cantor is my last name. Don't go looking me up. Um, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was my uh, that was my original um, username. Uh, kind of cringy. Uh, but Matutu was a it was a nickname that I got in freshman year of high school. Oh. Um, and uh, for some reason, like uh, I, I have some um, South African friends um, that I'm I'm really good friends with, and I met them in freshman year. And um, supposedly in like an African language, uh, Matutu means butterfly or something. Wow, that's um, accurate. So I, was, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, that's what I remember. Um, but uh, at, at some point, I, I was I was doing something that they they interpreted as butterfly or something. Um, and so now now I'm just known as Matutu, and it fits with my mat. So as what you're saying name. is we should call you butterfly in the future. Yeah, have fun. Because <laughs> that's the world. That's the can of worms you just opened, my friend. Uh, yeah, I've, I did. I've never actually wondered that until today when I was writing questions for this. I was like, hmm, I have no idea why he has that name. And now we've got Matutu's Kasusu. It's, it's kind of stuck. Yeah. It's kind of stuck. While we're on that topic, tell us about your logo. It's been, it was Kirby for years until we had some fan art drawn for you. Are you a huge fan of Kirby? What about Kirby made you decide okay. this is me? So... Kirby Dreamland was probably my, my my favorite childhood game of all time. Is it because you were um, extremely fat? <laughs> uh, I I was a little bit chubby. I'm not as uh -huh. chubby anymore. So I didn't um, have anything to do with it. More more because I just liked food, um, and he just ate everything. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, I I just I just played that game nonstop. I, wow. I I played that game like ten times over. I didn't stop at some point. Um, but so, yeah, I I love Kirby, and then a fan came along in fan art and was like, "Hey, can I draw you, um, your can I draw your Minecraft avatar?" And I mm -hmm. was like, "Sure." Uh, and so he drew it and uh, made it into into a GIF, and I was like, "Awesome!" So I'm I'm using that now. It's great. Wow! So you're like a Kirby main on Smash Bros. Yeah. Oh wow. yeah. That's pretty Bro, weak, that man. That rock that rock Smash, dude. I'll pull and, out uh, uh, Lucas and and uh, Ness, and I'll womp you. Dude. All right, brother. Uh, Lucas is my like. PK second. Fire. Dead. Oh, yeah, PK Fire, dude. That's what I'm talking about. What did? Okay, so a lot of times, almost every day, uh, I'll get messages through Instagram, through Twitter, through all of my social media platforms, um, asking to become admins or builders or whatever it is on my servers. So lots of people ask. Um, we've held interviews a couple times. My question is, since Matt usually runs these, what do you look for when bringing new people onto our team? So there's various things that we look for. Um, <laughs> mainly, <leave> that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, various things. Um, mostly, um, we look for like um, a good personality, um, and like uh, we we can't really like test this like before bringing you on. Um, but like like well thought out responses to like applications and stuff, um, and we also do an interview stage as well when we're recruiting people. Um, well thought out like answers to interview questions also plays a, a big part in it. Um, may or we actually like we had somebody go from the application stage. We had a few people actually come from the application stage to the interview stage, and their interview questions were not. Um, up to par of what we what we thought was enthusiastic and excited about the server and stuff like that. 
Um, so we didn't pass them. Uh, but other than that, um, we we also look for uh, age, age is a thing I get asked about a lot as well. Um, that was my rule. Is, I put in the rule for age, by the way. If people are yes. mad, that was me. <laughs> um, but the uh, the age thing is mainly um, it's the the only reason we have that rule is because you you're not really gonna find people under 16 with the same maturity as somebody as like a 20 year old or 25 year old keep people in mind i'm tell like you i'm 17 you are young yes people will tell you no i'm mature but you're not until you're like 21 like you're not you say you are but you have no idea what that even means so i take that so strict people always are like yeah yeah no i'm good i'm 15 i'm like nope nope a couple years maybe you'll be there but not yet ever yeah and we also the the other major thing we we look for is um like are you're fit into the like the staff atmosphere like if you would blend well as like a personality like with me morocco and all the other admins like if if you can like take a joke and stuff like that or if you can like let us bully you uh, yes exactly <laughs> um if, if you're like i don't know like you you can take you can take you know like simple jokes like it, you're just fun to be around in general. Matt you know? is purposefully um, not saying specifically which jokes as he's afraid that people would hear them and then never apply in the future. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> no, that's a great answer, Matt. Next question we have here is, over the last couple of years working together, what do you say is the biggest mistake you have made personally through the servers, the management, the bands? What do you think your biggest mistake is that you've made? Oh, geez. Um, I knew this would be a hard question. Uh, I gotta think. Um, Something that you kind of like one of those things where you're laying in bed at night and you just start cringing and you're like, oh, I did do I that. Have, oh, one of those like uh, enjoy your meal on YouTube type things. No um, idea what that means, but probably. Um, <laughs> <laughs> probably. Okay, I have one in mind, but I'm not sure if I've done anything worse than this. Hit me. So, I don't have one. I'm not like, there's not something I'm thinking. So whatever you have is good. So <laughs> when I first became staff, uh, which was on Zach's first arc server, um, TBT. I was, yeah, I was, uh, I was an admin for, her, and, um, this whole tribe was like, um, bullying this, this one other guy, um, and was like under meshing and doing all this other stuff. Uh, if you don't know what under meshing is, it's pretty much like putting foundations under the ground um, to like uh, prevent that foundation from being broken, um, which is illegal. And Ark has many ex- or exploits and bugs that haven't been addressed, um, which is annoying. Mm-hmm. Um, but so they were under meshing and stuff, and I TP'd over and uh, accidentally TP'd to one of them that was tanking or. That was in their base, and I started tanking their turret fire, which is like a, a huge deal because I was like draining their their ammo and stuff. Um, and I was sitting there like draining ammo and like um, like getting evidence like to ban them, and then I started banning them, and just everything just spiraled out of control. <laughs> and I don't remember I this have, at all. Uh, yeah, <laughs> good. Um, <laughs> But uh, I haven't. Uh, I I've been held accountable by um, many of those humanity or the tribe name was humanity. Um, Dang, I've that's been brutal. held accountable by those those people ever since. You've got like um, a picturesque memory of that day. I don't remember it at all, but this no, must have been was, a good one. It um, was so awful. I I felt so bad because I I at, they deserved the ban. Don't get me wrong, but like I I was just I, I was just being more more disrespectful in terms of in game than uh that's brutal than i absolutely to be. brutal also looks like mr beast just joined the chat today welcome mr beast glad to see you again here buddy definitely the real one not a fake one at all <laughs> um sounds traumatizing man it really does but not as traumatizing as our next question which is who do you like more me or morocco morocco is in here right now he is muted um so go ahead take uh, the stage um uh i'm gonna say morocco on this one okay um Okay, it's it's a close decision. If our admins but, are listening, uh, let's get him banned. Kick him out of here. <laughs> I want him removed from uh, whitelist as well. No more access to the uh, servers. Mar- uh, so, okay, my explanation for that is solely... solely. Do we get him? He's gone? All right, thanks, guys. All right, I, I guess that uh, 
<coughs> wraps up today's interview. Um, we are looking for replacements for a new head admin, though. So if anyone wants to apply, let me know. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I'm the head admin. Not him. <laughs> go ahead, Matt. Go ahead, Matt. Um, solely for the purpose that um, I, I think me and Morocco have a more friendly atmosphere to to our conversations. Um, just because I, you know, like the the boss, like the boss employee type atmosphere is kind of kind of what we go for most of the time. Uh, me and Zach. Um, but me and Morocco, like, he's still my boss, but, like, I, I feel like we're more, like, equal in terms of, like, yeah. I'm like an evil things. dictator, and even if I'm wrong, I'm still like, no, I'm right. Yeah, Mor Morocco may look like he holds more of a position, but Zach is just the ultimate communist leader. Yeah, it's like, this is a this is a real problem I have. This is actual real. A thing I do a lot is I always think I'm right. Even though I'm not half the time, I think I'm right. It gets me into a lot of mistakes. <laughs> A lot of problems happens all the time like my friend will say something and i'm like oh no this is actually correct and then he'll send me an article that shows me i'm wrong and i'm like hmm, i still think i'm right and i'll just go on yeah i do that a lot yep okay uh next question matt are you ready yes i am do you ever want to be a youtuber seeing what it's like what i work um what hours i put in is it something you've ever thought yeah i'd, I'd want to do that or does it turn you off from being a youtuber okay so I okay. I I'm I'm on the fence. I'd say, like I I used to want to do YouTube because I thought that was like my dream job. Because like you just got to play video games as as your like your job, mm -hmm. and you got paid for it. Mm -hmm. Um, but I I would rather stream if if I'm gonna be honest. Like I'd oh, okay. rather stream on Twitch or Mixer, um, solely for the purpose that you just get that live interaction that um, you don't get with YouTube when you're mm -hmm. reading comments and stuff. Um, and you also are able to just, you know, play games, relax, and just, like, talk to people, which is, which is if, if I dare, dare say so, one of, like, my, my strengths is um, talking to people and having social interactions. Mm -hmm. No, uh, yeah, I agree. It is definitely enjoyable. Streaming is exhausting, but I just never went, got into it because I couldn't grow on Twitch. I did Twitch for a couple months before I ever even made a YouTube video, actually. Which which the whole staff team has been lecturing Zach on how he should start streaming on Twitch or Mixer or whatever. Yeah, not um, just them. I've had sponsors, brands email me, and they've literally worded their emails in the way. That it'll say, like, like, hi, Zach, we love your content. By the way, if you started streaming, you could make, like, X amount of money more than you're making now. Like, we could, you could make so much money if you just streamed. And I still am not doing it just because... Right now, my schedule is so busy with some other things going on that I just, I struggle to fit it in. Like, I love doing these live, it's cool, but I really wanna work in at least one stream a week, but I like to like piece it in slowly. Like, we just launched Lover Reacts as a channel today, so that's three more videos a week I'm making. The Lovercast podcast just really started um, getting into gear a couple weeks ago, so I've got a lot of content, so I'm hoping I can add in streams and then hopefully slow down a little bit because I'm gonna have way too much to do uh, before too long. <laughs> Yeah. Um, next question, Matt. When you first met me, and I had that goal, road to 500K, my goal to get 500,000 this year, mm -hmm. did yeah. you think I would do it, honestly? Um, that's a hard one. Um, probably, I, I it was hopeful, let's say. I, I had faith. Um, you did, so more I, than Brian I didn't, had. <laughs> I didn't think, I didn't, I didn't think you'd get a five hundred thousand, maybe four hundred thousand, but your your like explosion uh, over the past like month or so uh, has like a huge impact on that. Um, I don't think I don't think you would have gotten to five hundred k if it wasn't for that big like pop in your um in your video view count and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I I am very great grateful and happy um, that you made it to five hundred k and. Uh, that I am still an admin on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that's been crazy. I was wondering if you did or not, because I, I definitely did. Like I was, it's gonna happen. But I was like, I wonder if most people are like, mm, he's stupid. I had, I had hope. I had hope. More than Brian. How's that feel, Big Tasty? That's what his username <laughs> is, guys. If you want to add Big Tasty and spam him, tell him. Look at what your boy's done. Tell him. Um, all right, next question. Um, uh, I noticed you're uh, an admin on my server, and you're yet to buy a, a liquor rank. Tell us why that is. Okay, no, okay. Or, uh, let me re there, re let me rephrase. Why aren't you donating copious amounts to become a liquor with how much you play on the server? Um, 
I actually bought uh, <laughs> two people um, taste bud so oh you can get gosh. off my back. Wow. <laughs> That's insane, yeah. dude. Look at you. I just wanted to make you uncomfortable with that one, and you made me uncomfortable. Yeah, you can, <laughs> you can get out of here with that. Uh huh. <laughs> um, Matt, my last question before we jump into the fan questions here today is: Are you interested in a brand new car? Uh, yes. Give me a Ferrari, please. I'm not getting you one. Oh, I just dang. was curious. All right. I, I I'm always interested in a new car. If, if <laughs> I was one thing you'd, about like, get excited me is and be I do like, love oh. cars. Yeah, well, I do too. Maybe I'll need to get one one day. All right. I'm just going to read through a couple of random questions here, guys, to wrap up this old bad boy here today with old Matutu. Number one question comes from I'm the Puff Guy. And he says, What's toe favorite part of being an admin? I believe he means your. Your? Okay. Um, my favorite part is um, probably the, the random moments that uh, the staff and the, the players participate in. Mm-hmm. Um, that that becomes like that becomes like a whole deal that that we do on the server. Like recently, like la- last night, Sunday night, um, we we had a a dance party that we did um, as a staff, and we just we got in lobby um, lobby lobby Discord channel, um, and we put the music bot on, and we we just jammed to some music for like four hours last night um, with the with the player base, and the players were singing along in chat. We were singing along in voice. Um, it was it was pretty fun, and so now what we're planning on doing is is the whole staff is just gonna host a um a Sunday night dance party every Sunday, <laughs> and uh, we're, we're week just off, gonna right? have exactly we're we're just gonna get pumped for the week, and uh, that that's probably my favorite part is is just the the random things that that lead to to pretty awesome things that we do on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Um, Oceanic says Matutu, how long have you worked at a frozen yogurt place? So I started okay if if any of you have sweet frog uh, near you that is the frozen yogurt shop that I work at um, in my area I'm not gonna tell you where I live um, <laughs> but uh, I I have worked there since September of last year um, and I've been making dough ever since <laughs> <laughs> um, follow-up question from squash he says at Matutu uh, what's your address, social security number, and your Discover credit card? So my the back of my credit card is zero one two six five zero seven zero. Okay. Uh, and then the CCV is two seven six. Expiration ten twenty two. Oh, mine's, uh, mine's also. Mine's also those exact same numbers. Oh well. Uh, Go on. Social security is three one two. Uh, one two, uh, nine zero one six. What if you accidentally just actually read those? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Next question. I did not. That does not work. <laughs> Matutu, have you ever hacked on a server in Minecraft? Um, I uh, I, have I have to think. I definitely have. That was like you a hobby. Have. Oh, I did all the time. Tell me would, about that. Tell me I, about that. Yeah, I would get like hacked clients. I would go in. I'd X-ray. I'd get to lava, and I'd just build lava towers. I'd grief buildings. I'd pour lava on spawn. I would destroy as much as I could until I got banned. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So does um so does using like an X-ray texture pack, uh, to catch X-rayers count or no? No, no, that's not it. It doesn't. Okay, no, then. I I think I've only I've only hacked once. Okay. And that was when I was like 12 and I was playing with some friends and we were like playing Pixelmon or something, which is the Oh, that's fun. The Pokémon the Pokémon mod in Minecraft. I have a few I videos on not, that from 2016. I just, <laughs> I just did not want to want to mine for like any like aluminum or, mo- or diamonds or anything, so mm-hmm. I just I just turned an X-ray texture pack on and started mining, dude, and I got like 10 stacks of each. It was great. Oceana Sky for the last question today, which is a fantastic question to end it on, says, do you plan to or are you interested in getting additional education to get more knowledge to help the Minecraft server grow and improve, like coding and stuff to make plugins for the server? Oh, of course, dude. Um, I I actually recently bought a um, or I, I opted into a, a Java coding um, class, which teaches you how to custom code Minecraft plugins. Uh, I haven't started just yet because I've been super busy with schoolwork or regular schoolwork and stuff. Um, but like, I'm super interested in in doing coding and stuff, um, especially software for 
for this server especially um but it, it would be super fun to make custom stuff for minecraft or, or any other game for that matter yeah super fun i'm just kidding super i just fun. suck at coding so i can't do any of that i had to do it for a year okay. in college and i was like mm, nah i'm not gonna do this anymore matt where can people find you do you have social media i don't actually know if you do i think you do right um okay so i i don't use social media except for snapchat and twitch uh i have a twitch i don't stream yet but i might uh, twitch.tv slash matutu underscore if you would like to go. Uh, Your name ends in an that. underscore? It does. I Unfortunately, the, the matutu regular, the regular matutu is not available. Um, but you so want with an underscore to, at the end. Finish. I feel like there were a lot of better ways to, like, matutu with a number, matutu, like, the uh, kasusu. The num numbers is number bad, dude. Because, like, think, think about that. You're telling someone, hey, what's your name? Matutu underscore versus, like, matutu one. Like, it's, it just flows yeah, but, better. You made a mistake. One it's is, okay. Eh. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Or like we Matutu can we can Twitch. disagree. Agree Matutu disagree. TV. Matutu TV. There's Anyways, it's twitch.tv slash Matutu underscore. All right. Um, Finally, tell everyone your address, and we'll get out of here. Uh, five one six uh, Oakland Drive. All right. Thanks, guys, for listening to Levercast. Don't forget, go listen to this on your favorite podcast app, or just listen right here on YouTube or in my Discord, where we record pretty much every week. I'm um, pulling in random people, making Discord uh, interviews with people. It's a pretty fun time, guys. Lick that screen right now if you enjoyed this podcast. Leave me some more questions next week when we pull in my brother Isaac BC seven six Distrin, or recently known as EX Swordfish. See you guys next week. Peace.